Welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about section 4.6 on the mean value theorem. And uh, we're going to look at problem number seven, which asks us to determine whether Rolle's theorem applies to the function f of x is equal to x times x minus 1 squared on the interval 0 to 1. Uh, and if so, find the points that are guaranteed to exist by Rolle's theorem. Okay, so real quick, maybe we should just think about what Rolle's theorem says for a second. Basically, Rolle's theorem says uh, if this function is continuous on this closed interval and it's differentiable on this interval except open, and the two endpoints at 0 and 1 of this function, if they're the same, then somewhere in between there must be a point uh, where the derivative is 0. Okay, so the first thing that we need to answer if we're looking at this thing and we are asking, does Rolle's theorem even apply to this guy? Well, then a few things have to be true. First of all, it needs to be continuous on this closed interval. Okay, well, is this function continuous on this closed interval? Well, this is a polynomial function. I could multiply it out and it's a nice polynomial. And polynomial functions are continuous everywhere. So uh, if you were doing this problem for a homework or something, you might write that down that, hey, this is a polynomial, so obviously it's continuous on this closed interval. Uh, yeah, that's right. So this is a continuous function on this closed interval. Uh, it's certainly polynomial functions are differentiable everywhere. So it's certainly differentiable on the open interval from 0 to 1. So uh, it... The only thing I really need to check at this point, since it's pretty obviously continuous and it's pretty obviously differentiable, is I still need to test, are the endpoints the same? In other words, it, if I look at 0 and 1, the endpoints of this interval, is f of 0 the same thing as f of 1? And if I plug in 0 to this function, it's pretty clear since we have this x right here, that f of 0 is going to give me 0, because I'm just multiplying by 0. And if I plugged in 1, since I have an x minus 1, that's 0, so I'm going to get 0. So the endpoints are, in fact, the same. So it's continuous on the closed interval, it's differentiable on the open interval, and the endpoints are the same. So Rolle's theorem applies, and that means that somewhere between 0 and 1, there is a place where the derivative of that function is zero. Okay, and so what this problem asks us to say is, okay, so should please find the points that are guaranteed to exist by Rolle's theorem. So are there any, there is at least one point in between zero and one where the derivative is zero, and can I find it, and possibly any more if they exist. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is let's rewrite the function here. So f of x is equal to, this is x times x minus 1 squared. And I'd like to take the derivative of that guy. Uh, but before I do, let's multiply it out a little bit. So this is equal to x times, if I square x minus 1, I get x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then I could rewrite f of x as I could multiply this x through, and I get x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. All right. Uh, and the question is, where is this derivative, the derivative of this function, equal to 0? So let's take its derivative, set it equal to 0, and see. So I take its derivative, and I get f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then I'm going to set that equal to 0 uh, to see where uh, Rolle's theorem, uh, what the point is given to us by Rolle's theorem. So this is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And instead of trying to factor this, this doesn't seem like it's going to be the nicest thing to factor. Let's just use the quadratic equation to get the two solutions. So I would get that x would be negative b, which is 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 3 times 1, or minus 12, all over 2 times a, 
or 6. In other words, x would be 4 plus or minus 16 minus 12 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So it's 4 plus or minus 2 over 6, which is equal to 4 plus 2 over 6 is 6 over 6, or 1. And 4 minus 2 over 6 is uh, 2 over 6, which is a third. Now, 1 is one of my endpoints. So it's not the point given by Rolle's theorem that's in between 0 and 1. It has to be strictly in between 0 and 1. But 1 third is right in between 0 and 1. So the unique point given to me by Rolle's theorem where the derivative is going to be 0 and it's going to live in between 0 and 1 is x equals 1 third.